the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap. Show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yin ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for yet another fun edition of the brew review. Get out of my house! And what we got for you today is more Appalachian Brewery. More Appalachian Brewing Company. And we got Trailblaze Maple Brown Ale in this week's episode. You got 6.9% traditional cap. It's based out of Harrisburg and Gettysburg. Absolutely. Dog, did I ever tell you what my favorite Adam Sandler skit was that ever written? No, you For haven't. For those of you that don't know, before Adam Sandler was a big movie star, he did uh, CDs. Uh, CDs nuts? Yeah. Uh, you know, like, not stand-up so much, but like skits on CD. And they were they were pretty funny. One of my favorite ones was The Goat. The Talking Goat. I think that's everybody's favorite one. Yeah, that was on uh, What the Hell Happened to Me album. Yeah. I wish there was a beer that had, like, a goat on the bottle of it. I think that would sell, like, really, really good because... It brings up memories of the talking goat. Well, actually, you know what? With the hickory stick? With the hickory stick? ABC must have thought that, too, because on the bottle of this one is a goat! This is Arrowhead Bach! That actually looks like the cover of a kid's coloring book. Which, you can see, you got... I just thought of this, dude. 7% lager. Actually, wait a fucking minute. Arrowhead Buck, but it says Lager? <laughs> There's a conflict here. Interesting. I did not know. Appalachian, can can anyone help me, help us out on this? How can it be a Bach and a Lager at the same time? But you know what the funny thing is? On Yingling Bach, there's a picture of a goat. So, what is it about Bach and goats? I do know. Let's, if somebody could figure that out for me, I'd love to know. But yeah, more of the ABC. The new, these are... The other two new ABC flavors that they have for bottles. A rich brown ale with shades of maple. Ooh, this actually might be good. We've learned to split these up after that long episode in Phoenix. This is actually called, this is considered a malt beverage. Really? Okay. Interesting. I never had, I haven't had either one of these. But this is a German style Bach beer with personality. Bach. 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 Oh, Steinman! And this is 7% off. So, kind of we, yeah, we're going to do the cap test, the bunny and head test, the drink test, the draft test, the afterwork test, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's begin. Let's and get I guess started. we'll start off with a trailblaze. I'm going to try and... Uh, fuck yeah! How the hell are you doing this? Last week I did it. That is such bullshit! You must have weak hands. So, we'll smell it. I'm drunk. <laughs> this is such bullshit, man. This is such bullshit. Well, slight it, grass, but it's really faint. Does, I don't know how else to describe it. Does it smell like maple? Mm, no, not really. It doesn't. But the caps come off excellent. Fuck you. <laughs> so. Already, I'm disappointed. It doesn't smell like anything maple brown. Yeah, but I can take Appalachian caps off, and you can't. Why don't you drink the beer and shut the fuck up? Why don't you fucking let me say, Troll Blaze, free brown maple ale, hey, let's try it. <laughs> Alright, I'll try it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting tipsy on the brew review. We've been due for one of these nights. And now that we have the tripod that cost like three dollars and fifty cents to get we don't have to worry about dropping cameras. flavor burst flavor burst man. i'm not even paying attention what do you think oh i like it yeah what, what's the yeah taste? i mean yeah it does have the ale taste but it's not a, it's not an overbearing ale taste 
a rich brown ale with shades of maple. Does it have it shades of maple? It's kind of a cross between an ale and a, and maybe a slight bit of stout. Well, if I had to compare anything. So it's probably dark. It looks dark. Proud to be an American craft brewery. I mean, it does have a little bit of a coffee bean aftertaste, but it's not bad. Yeah, um... It's like well, you said, a stout. Or, uh, damn near a stout. I'm actually interested to see if this is any darker than uh, the chocolate one. How the fuck can I open these bottles, you know? Right. You're on steroids. No. Yeah. I'm not that fucking strong. You're, you're on steroids. He's on the roids. He's on the juice. Do you want me to open that one, too? His penis is this small. I'd whip it out and show you, but YouTube would ban me. That it's bigger than we that. Don't, we don't need to see that. Wow. It's... Well, so there's a lot of head... Whoa. Whoa! There is like an inch and a half ahead, but man, that's poured, how fast it got tilted. I poured that. But look at the, look at the color of it. It's got a very... It's... It's got a very darkish color to it. Yeah, but it's Almost not, like a red. Yeah, not as dark as Chocolate Avenue. No, but, no, not quite that bad, but it's... I would say, what? A little darker than a lager? Like a oh, way, lager. way darker than a lager. But you can still kind of see through it a little bit. No, no cinnamon in here. Or sediment. Sediment. Cinnamon, sediment. sediment. Burks yeah. really good. Stronger, uh, much stronger. This, this smells almost like a Bach. If I remember what a Bach smells like. Maybe it just kind of like has a cross between everything. Yeah, it. Because I could have sworn there was an ale, there's a slight bit of stout, and you're saying a slight bit of bock? I'm pissed that it doesn't smell like maple, though. That's but, the only thing. And I would not call this a malt beverage. Let's go ahead and draft it in this Appalachian Brewing Company glass as I promote them. Mm hmm. But. I, I wouldn't call this. A malt beverage is like. You gotta glass it. Yeah. You gotta fucking glass this. Malt beverage is like, what, smearing off? And... Kind of, sort of, yeah. And, and what What did we just have on here a week or two ago? Oh, the Reds. Yeah, right. That's kind of, that's considered a malt that's beverage. That's a malt beverage. This is beer. The Jack Cola, that's a malt beverage. It definitely tastes better in the car. Look at that. You can There's... go back on the season four playlist to see all those uh, recent episodes. Look how much it's holy fuck! <laughs> I'm about to get head. We, yeah. You just put the head in your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I got a feeling we're gonna get hogged up before this round of reviews is over. I just let all that white foam just go right into my mouth. We need to get your brother here. He kind of, he failed to join us on season three. He's probably already drunk right now. He, right. Yeah, if you guys have been watching since like 2013, he's the dude who squeezed the beer out of the fucking can during the PBR review. <laughs> so, Whenever the, it was like 14 degrees outside and he kept it in his car. His 96 Mercury Cougar he once had. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so we're going to try this one. Give it here. You're going to do the, I'm going to try You're going to try and cap this that bitch. better. Yeah, put your balls into there it. There we go. Okay, I'm confused about you, Appalachian. Your caps are tight, but yet they're loose enough to twist off if you really try. Well, we've only been able to turn the newer ones. Maybe uh, the older ones were on there better. Yeah, because the first set that we did kind of sit for a couple months, mm -hmm. right? So. so maybe there's a theory. All right, I know I'm using up a lot of card. i got to see if we're still on. Yeah, we're on. Good. The battery's kind of getting down there. we got to change for the next one. A little behind the scenes here at 96.9 The Whip. Smell that. It don't smell like a Bach. To me, a Bach is like a darker Dude. beer. I can't... I don't know what to make of it. I can't really smell anything out of it. Huh. I can smell, but... There is like no fucking smell to it whatsoever. It's like it's like smelling styrofoam. Yeah. It's like smelling squishy frog. Do you just you know what? Yeah, I just smelled my frog. What of it? Do you remember? Was he the frog that got jerked off on Beer Fest? Y'all remember that? No. 
and he was jerking off the frog. Yeah, I know, you, you freaking bookworms out there are like, you can't jerk off a fucking frog. I'm just rambling stupid shit. I'm sorry. People. Okay. It says Arrowhead Bach, but it says lager, right? So, To yeah. me, this tastes like a lager. It's the damnedest thing. Alright, we'll go through the protocol here. It looks like a kid's storybook, even though it's not a kid's drink. Dude. Arrowhead Bach, lager, 7% alcohol by volume. <laughs> Let's try it. Please don't try and read the entire bottle. I'm from Big Swain, me can't weed. Oh, yeah, if you want more information about the beer, call 717-221-10080. Awesome. Or abc.com. Yeah. I think that's the website. www.abcbrew.com. There you go, abcbrew.com. Okay, clear bars. If you just put abc.com, you might get something kids related. I might get Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Yeah. I forgot what we were doing, Kramit. But does this taste like a Bach to you? I don't taste a Bach or a lager. I don't know. I, I can't compare what the hell it is, honestly. It, Sorry. It's can... not bad. Yeah. But I'm, I'm kind of stumped here. I don't know what it is, though. But why do you say Bach on one part of the bottle and lager on the other? Appalachian, could you explain this to us? This if is you've a, got a YouTube channel and This is a weird beer. Comment below. Comment below. Look, I mean, it's as dark as a lager. That's lagerish right there. Combination. And how appropriate that it's in a yingling glass. And it looks really red like the last one did. Yeah. So a, I can't pinpoint that smell. Kind of appropriate. We got PA and PA here. I can't get much smell at all out of that. Uh, I can smell. It just I don't know what it is. Well, I'll just go ahead and do the draft. Go ahead. It's. I'm not saying it's a bad beer. I like it. It goes down smooth. It. It tastes good. I just don't know what it is. What are you trying to be? Are you trying to be a Bach? It's unique. I'll give it that. Maybe that's what it is. It's a unique beer. Yeah. I can't compare Unless we've never tried a German-style Bach, because this is German-style. But it was brewed here in PA. Brewed in PA, but German-style. And they brew their shit under the German purity law, which means if you fuck it up, you get shot. Usteiben. Du Host. Huh. Well. Oh, yeah, I heard the shuffle this morning, or I heard, like, the lunchtime shuffle on 101.5, and they played Du Host on the radio. Wow. It was like going back in time, man. Du Host. Du Host, man. Anyways. So. Hmm. If I had to compare the two, I'd choose the Bach. The Bach? But. As far as ratings go, you, sir, lied. There's no maple in you at all. So, three and a half for you. You, on the other hand, you have a goat on a paraglider. But then again, you're a bock and a logger at the same time. I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do. I think you have ADD. I want to say four. Hmm. Three and a half, four. Let me think here. I'm not a fan of ales. You all well know that. But, I did like it. So, here you got your cool artwork. I'm going to say four on that one. This one here says Bach. Says Lager. I don't know what the fuck. I don't think it's either, really. I'm going to do double fours on this. Double fours? Yeah, but, I mean, it was good, but I couldn't pinpoint it. But it has a goat paragliding. Yeah, I mean, the artwork does give it a little <laughs> redeeming quality, and the fact that you can twist them off if you're strong enough... It makes me wonder if a kid designed that. But yet he can't drink till he's 21, unless he's in Canada, he's 19. That'd be like the fucking kid on the Nirvana album cover, you know? Yeah, that was a disgusting cover, by the way. You know, he's old enough to drink now. He could join us in the brew view. There you go. God damn it, we're old. <laughs> so, yeah, um... 
far as the new ABC brews go, they're not bad. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I really don't have one that I hate so far. I'm going to say that. Chocolate Avenue is my personal favorite. That's just me. But uh, as far as the, the four new ones that they're releasing, pretty good. Yeah, so, so far, Appalachian, you've been pretty good. You deserve more props than, than you get. Yeah, so. you're you're up there at least number four or five behind, like, the Germans, the Canadians. Uh, after Bur Sam Adams. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I've lost how many we've done. Too many. Yeah, that happens when you do, what, 160, is it 162 this week? I think so. Oh, my God. We're alcoholics. Well, I know one thing. I'm not driving home tonight. Alcoholics, they they get help. We're just drunks, as my brother would Well, I go to AA every every other week. You go to AA day. to get beer. How ironic. <laughs> Down in West Virginia. So, shouts to a and There's actually a couple Facebook friends that work there. So, shout out to you for selling me the beer. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. And so, add, add him to his alcoholism. We actually have a very colorful alcoholism. Yeah. Hey, at least we use our alcoholism for good, not evil. We use it to entertain. Hey, exactly. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Brewery View featuring another installment of Appalachian Brewery with Trailblaze and Arrowhead, Bach, Lager, whatever the fuck. Arrowbach! And yeah, we're almost out of battery. We got to cut off here, switch the battery, and tune in next week. Peace.